black Jesus Christ and Mary and the black nobility of Europe. You all seen this story about Putin unveiling religious icons from the Russian vaults? I don't know if this is an AI fake story or something real, but I'd really like to find out. Supposedly Putin revealed a bunch of religious icons, and these icons depict the Hebrew people as black. Now a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter what color Jesus is, and that may be true on an individual level. But on a global level, that means a lot of people have been lying to us. If Russia has proof of these claims, that would delegitimize the European royalty, along with the royal bloodlines of the Nordic countries like Switzerland, Norway, Wales, as these royal figures claim to be direct descendants from the line of Jesus. It would also call the Vatican's narrative into question. Have they really been whitewashing history, as they call it? Or is this just a made-up story? I don't think people really care what the truth is at this point, but that's what we want, the truth. And I've really looked into this stuff. There's enough evidence on both sides of the coin to pretty much... Universal Center for Renovation presents historical and biblical Israelites. This video is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. This video is of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. Black Jesus Christ and Mary and the black nobility of Europe. With the revealing of the dark complexioned images or icons of Jesus and the biblical saints comes the greatest secret that European scholars and historians held on to for years. That the European kings and queens of Europe would be considered according to today standards people of color known historically as the children of israel or israelites these monarchs ruled all of europe including greece italy spain britain france germany poland and russia so let's delve or take a deep dive into some of the secrets or the secret bloodlines of some of the greatest monarchs of European history. Map of Black Madonnas. Madonna is Latin for my lady, who represents images of Mary the mother of Jesus Christ. Jesus, the name is Greek for Joshua. In the biblical Hebrew, it will be pronounced Yahweh Shai. In Joshua, Yahweh Shai means he delivers or he saves. Explore this ever expanding map filled with over 187 black madonnas or images of Mary. To the left is a statue of Mary and in her arms is a baby Jesus Christ or Jesus the Messiah. This statue can be found in the center of Paris, France, and it is known as Our Lady of Good Deliverance. In this map that shows locations where images of Mary can be found, in Asia, North, Central, and South America, Africa, and Europe, the highest concentrations of images of Mary can be found in Europe.
Maurice sur Seine, just west of Paris, in France, one of the most affluent areas of France. It is the wealthiest and most expensive suburb of Paris. The area around Paris was originally known as Frontier, from which the name of France was derived. Under the Merovingians, 476 to 750 AD, Francia meant the region between the Rhine and the Seine rivers. It was restricted under the Carolingians to the country bounded by the Seine, Weiss, and Seine rivers. In the 10th and 11th centuries, it signified only the territory limited by the Seine, the Marne, the Bourbon, and the Weiss and the Nanet. It was from the nucleus of this territory that Hugh Capet, who became king of France in 987, and his successors consolidated the authority of the monarchy and thereby created the modern French state. Although the modern name Le de France literally means island of France, its etymology is unclear. The island may refer to the land between the river Weiss, Marne, and Seine, or it may also have been a reference to the La de la Cité, where the French royal palace and cathedral were located. Alternatively, the name may refer to the lands that were under the direct rule of the Capetian kings during the Middle Ages. Thus, the lands were an island in a sea of various feudal territories ruled by vassals of the king. Map of the country of France in the region of Le de France region. In this region of France, we shall find the statue of Our Lady of Good Deliverance in the center of Paris, France. Our Lady of Good Deliverance would be found in the region of Neuilly, Sorcine. The location of Our Lady of Good Deliverance can be found highlighted with the red circle in the center of France, Paris, France. Our Lady of Good Deliverance, Notre Dame de la Bonne Deliverance, and the Chapel of the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Thomas of Villeneuve, open to the public. 52 Boulevard de Argenson, Nelle Sorcine, outside of Paris, a 14th century statue, replacing an 11th century version of the Black Virgin of Paris, Our Lady of Good Deliverance. La Chapelle, Notre Dame, de Bonne Deliverance. Under the patronage of this virgin, the royal confraternity of the charity of Our Lady of Good Deliverance had been founded in 1533 
and comprised thousands of aristocratic and common members. It was meant to be a saintly society dedicated to the honor of God and his very dignified mother, the glorious Virgin Mary, to keep a singular devotion alive in all real Christian men and women. This association was founded by a priest named Jean Oliver, who was greatly pious, devoted to Our Lady with strong affection, in the service of the Queen of Angels. The group organized processions and ministered to prisoners, even paying their debts if they were imprisoned for not being able to pay them. Thousands of aristocrats were devoted to this Black Madonna, Our Lady of Good Deliverance. She used to stand in the church of St. Etienne de Gris in the Latin Quarter. But that church was destroyed during the French Revolution and all its content sold. Madame de Cardigan, a pious rich lady, brought the statue and venerated her in her private home until she was arrested during the reign of terror, a period of 11 months following the French Revolution, which cost 20 to 40,000 people their lives. In jail, she used to pray to Our Lady of Good Deliverance with others who have been arrested for their faith, in particular, the Sisters of St. Thomas. When all of them survived and were freed in 1806, Madame gave the Black Virgin to the Sisters of St. Thomas. In her hand, the Virgin can be seen holding a fleur de lis, an open lily, a symbol of Israel, like the menorah or the shield of David. The fleur de lis or open lily was also a symbol of the kings of France. On the right, you can see the arms of the kings of France blazing as a ray, three fleur de lis or open lilies. These were symbols of the children of Israel. This virgin was in the church of Saint Etienne de Gris. Saint Etienne, France and numerous other places named Saint Etienne. In the French speaking world, Etienne is the French form of Stephen. You can read about Stephen in Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 1 through 60. Stephen, a Byzantine icon from the 11th century. Saint Etienne de Gris, Paris, or Saint Stephen's. Saint Etienne's or St. Stephen's, was a church in Paris, France, formerly located in the Latin Quarter. It was one of the early centers of Christianity in Paris. It was erected by St. Denis to St. Stephen. Its foundation dates to around the 6th century. St. 
the teen, or Stephen, was one of the five Merovingian churches walking the road from Paris to Orleans. So the church of St. Stephen was a church or one of the five churches used by the Merovingians. The Merovingians were kings of France. The Lady of Good Deliverance, Notre Dame de Bonne Deliverance. The church notably contained a black Madonna, the Notre Dame de Bonne Deliverance, Our Lady of Good Deliverance, also known as the Black Madonna of Paris. The statue dates from the 14th century replacing an 11th century version. The Virgin wears a white veil and dark blue mantle ornamented with fleur de lis over a red robe. The Royal Confraternity of Notre Dame de Bonne Deliverance was established in 1533. Louis XIII and his wife, Anne of Austria, were members. Louis the Thirteenth, Louis the Thirteenth, sometimes called the Just, was born September twenty seventh, sixteen o one, and died May fourteenth, sixteen forty three. He was king of France from 1610 until his death in 1643. Shortly before his ninth birthday, Louis became king of France and Navarre after his father, Henry IV, was assassinated. His mother was Marie de Medici. Mismanagement of the kingdom and ceaseless political intrigues by Marie and her favorites, her Italian favorites, led the young king to take power in 1617 by exiling his mother. Early life of Louis the Thirteenth. 1601 to 1610. Louis XIII was the eldest child of King Henry IV of France and his second wife, Marie de Medici. As son of the king, he was a Phyllis de France or son of France, and he was the eldest son. His father, Henry IV, was the first French king of the house of Bourbon. His paternal grandparents was Antoine de Bourbon, Duc de Vedomy, and Jean d'Albret. The ambassador of King James I of England to the court of France, Sir Edward Hubert, who presented his credentials to Louis the Thirteenth in 1619 remarked on Louis' extreme congenital speech impediment and his double teeth. Louis the Thirteenth and King James the First of England were contemporaries. Louis the 13th of the Bourbon dynasty, King of France. Louis the 13th, King of France, was a supporter of the statue of Our Lady of Good Deliverance, the Black Madonna and child. In 
Why would Louis the Thirteenth, the King of France, support the image of Mary holding a baby infant Jesus in her hand? Images of people of color. Mary was an Israelite. Jesus was an Israelite. Why would King Louis support this idea? It's because King Louis was of Israelite descent and a man of color or a person of color. And Louis bore the features of his biracial descent. The color line, a history, the story of Europe and the African from the old world to the new by Ethan Melville. The color line, a history, chapter, the Bourbon crown of France, page 393. Louis XIII, as one of the crown descendants of Cosimo di Medici of Italy I, Cosimo I, Louis bore the features of his biracial descent and much of his physical appearance, but not as intensely as his nephew, King Charles II of England, who was known as the black boy and the black man. Despite having a swarthy complexion at birth, he, Louis, eventually developed a cream-colored hue, similar to that of his mother, Marie de Medici. The various portraits of this Bourbon king by the French artist Philippe de Champagne, in spite of being done mostly in the latter life of Louis, illustrate a near perfect rendering of Louis' complexion, just a pose with the jet black hair and dark brown eyes which gaze at the onlooker. An observation must be made whereupon recollection would point to the rendering of Louis the Thirteenth by Franz Forbes the Younger, where having just inherited the French throne in 1610, due to the unexpected event of his father's assassination, the eight-year-old was portrayed bearing much of his Italian heritage in his visage. King Louis was called biracial, swarthy, cream, colored Italian heritage in his visage or face. The various kings and queens of Europe were called mulatto, black man, negro, woolly haired, swarthy, black nobility, Israelites, as royalty of Europe. In various historical writings, the nobility, the Israelite nobility of Europe are described physically. These are some of the descriptions of these Israelite rulers of Europe, the black nobility. In one record, they are described like mulattoes. A mixed race. Swathy, green, green or blue, gorm, Gaelic for brown. Their features, meaning the ruling class, their features are irregular. 
they are dark skinned men. Terms like bun and fin, which means white, sayer and dub, black, direct and road, red, lieth means gray, glass means green, and also gray, gorm means blue, black, or brit mean speckled, many colors speckled. These are the terms to describe the different complexions and hues of the ruling class in the Middle Ages. Different shades of brown from light complexion to dark brown. Terms like nigger or dub, the speckled people, tawny, swarthy, and curly haired, yellow continents, ruddy continents, copper colored face, like wild Indians, black Europeans, black knight, gypsies, Ethiopian minstrels. Scottish history, along with English and continental European history, like places such as Germany and France and Italy, Spain, is full of suggestions of conflicts and eventually of alliances between black, brown, and white races. Other terms used to describe the ruling class of Europe would be terms such as of the blonde negroid type. Blonde negroid type is not uncommon even in Nordic Europe. This author is politically on the right of the political spectrum, but rather left or right, the historical written literature is always the same. The real cause of the fall of the Roman Empire, the racial change in the population makeup. The absorption of non-white Israelites into the Roman population and the effects of racial mixing are evident in the face of this baker to the left from Pompeii, Italy. The fashion at the time was to have one's portrait painting on the walls of one's house. The eruption of the volcano Vesuvius preserved a great number of the houses in Pompeii, including both these portraits, which date from circa 50 AD. Compare the clearly mixed race features of this baker to one of his neighbors, a Nordic woman. This is a term that was used for so-called white people, whose house portrait was similarly saved. Eventually, the baker types were to dominate Roman society, the Israelite type. This change in racial makeup of Roman society was the reason why the Roman Empire vanished. The original Romans were submerged. I use the term so-called white because it seems it's more respectful to say German, French, Irish. Instead of using this term white, even using the term black seems disrespectful. 
people have countries of origins. They're of nations with particular names. So who are these black Europeans or people of color that lived in Europe? Or who is a Jew, a Israelite? These are some types. This particular painting or fresco shows types from the Greco-Roman period. Jew, Israelite types from Greco-Roman period in history. Who is a Jew and Israelite types from the Greco-Roman period? Jews and Israelites. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types Greco-Roman period in history? This image can be found in Sex and Race, Volume 3. Who is a Negro? Ancient Egyptian types. This is an image of an Egyptian Jew, like the Egyptian Jews that lived in Alexandria. This same image can be found in a book written in German in the 1940s on phenotypes of ancient Jews. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types? Judah. These two images are from the same book written in German in the 1940s, showing the diversity of the phenotype, facial types of Jews, of ancient Jews. Who is a Jew slash Israelite? Types. Judah. Who? is a Jew slash Israelite types Judah who is a Jew slash Israelite types from the Greco-Roman period who is a Jew slash Israelite types Roman Who is a Jew slash Israelite types Roman These are Roman soldiers who were of Israelite origin Who is a Jew slash Israelite types Levi Judah and Benjamin and this fresco is from the synagogue in Dera Europis 2000 years old who is a Jew slash Israelite types Byzantines or East Romans who physical type were diverse from black to white but were Israelite in origin who is a Jew slash Israelite types Byzantines West Romans Israelites people of color of different shades and hues Who is a Jew? Israelite types, Byzantines, the Emperor Constantine and his mother, Helena. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types, Knights, Knights that fought in the Crusades. Who 
is a Jew slash Israelite types European Knights. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types Knights? Hughes de Payens. Hughes de Payens was the co founder and the first grand master of the Knights Templar. Founder of the Knight Templars, Hughes de Payens, a Jew slash Israelite type. Knights. Who is a Jew? slash Israelite types knights knights Templar the poor fellow soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon mainly known as the Knight Templar was a military order of the Catholic faith in one of the wealthiest and most popular military orders in Western Christianity they were founded in 1119 headquartered on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem and existed for nearly two centuries during the Middle Ages. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types knights? Hugh de Payens. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types knights? Arms and Shield of Hughes de Payens. Hughes de Payens shield carried heldery, presenting three black Saracen heads. This is not a shield, but on his shield was three Saracen's heads or more heads, symbolizing his Moorish or Jewish Israelite heritage. And there are two stories that claim that Hugh's father's nickname was the Moor. The other story is that Hugh's de Payen's nickname was the Moor. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types Byzantines? The Byzantine Empire fell in 1453 by the armies of the Ottoman Turks. The icon to the left is an icon from the Eastern Orthodox Church. The icon depicts the last Byzantine Emperor. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types, Byzantines. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types, angels, before the fall of the Byzantine Empire? The saints and the angels were painted as dark skin Israelite types, and their enemies were Romans. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types saints before the fall of the Byzantine Empire? The saints were depicted as people of color and the enemy of the Byzantines were the Romans, the ancient classical Romans. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types devils after the fall of the Byzantine Empire the angels were depicted as Romans and the devils were depicted as Israelites who is a Jew slash Israelite types devils after the Renaissance, after the fall of the Byzantine Empire, the angels were modeled from 
ancient Greek gods, such as the goddess in this fresco from ancient Rome. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types devils after the fall of the Byzantine Empire? The devil was portrayed as a man of color modeled on the Israelite types. Wikipedia Satan Satan also known as the devil seduces humans into sin or falsehood, an agent subservient to God. In the book of Revelation, the book of Revelation represents Satan as the supernatural ruler of the Roman Empire and the ultimate cause of all evil in the world. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types? Moors. After the fall of the Byzantine Empire, the Western Roman Empire decreed the Turks and the Moors would be the enemies of Western Christianity. So in 1492, when the last stronghold of the Moors of Spain fell, the Moors became the enemies of Western Christianity. Although the Moors were of an Israelite type, but they became the devils, not the Romans, but the Jews, the Moors became the devils of Christian icons after the Renaissance. Before during the Byzantine Empire, the Romans were the devils of Byzantine icons. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types Italians such as the Medici family who sponsored the Renaissance after the fall of the Byzantine Empire? Above, the classical coat of arms of the Medici family with six balls arranged one, two, two, one to form a six pointed star or a shield of David. Hiding but showing to those who know or understand their Israelite origin, the Medicis. Who is a Jew? Israelite types, American Indians, North, Central, and South America, and the Caribbean. The Phoenician at home or the Israelite slash Phoenician at home and abroad retained his characteristic high crowned hat the Henin, worn on formal occasions. It is here illustrated by two terracotta figurines left, an American Indian example, excavated from a mound builder burial mound in North America. Right, a figurine from Hagia Irene, Cyprus, right off the coast of Israel, Cyprus Museum. Both figurines date from the 8th to 6th century BC after the fall of Samaria by the Assyrians. For comparison of the alphabet used by the Phoenician colonists or Hebrew colonists in Iowa and in Southern Spain, See page 162 in this book called The Mound Builders 
from 1892 depicts the Hebrew alphabet in the North American Indian burial mounds because they were Hebrew Israelites. On the picture to the right in color, you can see this high crowned ceremonial hat. This image is from the synagogue and Dera Europis showing a family of Israelite Syrian priests wearing the same hat that can be found from terracotta figurines in mounds, burial mounds of the North American Indians. Who is a Jew slash Israelite types, equestrians? Septimius Severus was not the first Israelite emperor of Rome. There were many Israelite types or men or soldiers found among the equestrian soldiers of the Roman Empire. From ancient Rome to medieval England, who is a Jew slash Israelite types equestrians. The black nobility, the Israelite royalty of Europe, and their churches and chapels could be found. The black Madonna with child showing their Israelite origin. Mary and her son, Jesus Christ, or Yahushai, were both Israelites. And these kings and queens of Europe honored and remembered their ancient heritage as Hebrew Israelites.